there are a lot of things to talk about in this episode. We've got some important news, so we're going to discuss Velo. We'll talk about a trial that Ripple took part in and the important relationships that resulted from it. We will investigate the Ethereum controversy. Is Vitalik cheating? Is it dumping on the Ethereum Foundation? Will my Ethereum forecasts come to pass? We'll talk about what Charles Hoskins did because he has a big advantage. We will then talk about some well-known institutions' involvement with XRP and Ripple. Yes, exactly. So without further ado, have a seat and unwind. Let's get started. Bitcoin is now trading at $68,636 after rising 2.28% during the last day. The price of Ethereum is $2,529. It has increased by 2.62%. The current prices of USDT and USDC are both $0.99. Cents. At $0.52, cents, XRP is a comparatively low price. Since yesterday's video, XRP's price has gone up a little. At 1.71%, the market is ending the day on a high note. The market capitalization of all cryptocurrencies, $2,344,000,000,000. After this, where will we go? That depends entirely on what Bitcoin chooses to do. Bitcoin wants to wake up and break through the $74,000 barrier. It is anticipated that it would drive these markets upward. Every day that goes by and this thing doesn't move out further reduces the likelihood that Bitcoin will decide it wants to do a little more chop-chop or even retest into the lower $50,000 level. You receive XRP when you hold one. You receive much more XRP if you own two. Rewards ranging from 2,000 to 5,000 XRP per month have been given to participants in this movement. You can still be involved in this movement. There will be NFT staking soon. Pack vacancies were available. The trading card games arrived. The shooting game was given to us. We are contributing a great deal of value to this project. It's completely absurd. We then receive a portion of this. This is huge. We have previously discussed VLO on this channel. We suspected that VLO would be listed on Binance. How are we aware? You can see that Binance has been acquiring a sizable amount of VLO for a while if you follow their wallet. However, we now understand. Binance, TH by Golf with great pleasure, Binance announces the addition of the THB pair VLO. Yes, exactly. It's being added. We will then look at the chart. However, Gartner explains, I just wanted to communicate the current situation of VLO, which is breaking, before I leave. In the 4-hour time frame, the VLO is presently trending lower. The time has come to send it. We show the VLO price when we go back to the live coin watch. What do we see? We are currently concentrating on points 0, 1, and 4. In the past 24 hours, we have added about 1.5 cents up more than 13%. The value of the house increased dramatically after I told you to go to VLO. Our position above the bottom floor isn't much higher than the listing price of the home we were looking at, which was about one penny. We were looking at 20 to 50 times the value on VLO when I brought it up. The ability to buy, maintain, and streamline the user onboarding process is, in my opinion, what makes VLO so alluring. As an alternative, you can use the Stellar term to convert your XLM into VLO. This was released by Mike Manfield. Ant International used Ripple in the trial and connected its blockchain-based treasury administration with the networks of Hang Seng Bank and HSBC. With round-the-clock accessibility, the platform efficiently enables tokenized deposit transactions in real time. Visa, MasterCard, and Ripple Labs are other partners. Let's accept this article from the Fin Extra crew. The item was published about 54 minutes ago, and we may read it by scrolling down. According to the story, HSBC and Ant International have successfully finished the cross-bank blockchain-based test transactions denominated in Hong Kong that were conducted under the sandbox of the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. This is significant. 
This is Art International, and HSBC's use case combines Ant International's blockchain-based treasury administration with the networks of HSBC and Hang Seng Bank. We created the technology to enable tokenized deposit transactions in real time, 24-7. This is precisely what we are discussing. This degree of adoption is what we need. The main companies joining the Bitcoin sector are these. You wish to discuss adoption. You wish to discuss digital currencies issued by central banks. You want to talk about how the price of XRP has fluctuated. You want to talk about the recent spike in utility costs. The Ethereum controversy. Does Vitalik Buterin refute the claims that he dumped ETH? Former co-workers have informed us that Vitalik Lubin didn't care about Ethereum or the network. Tokens were being dumped by them. None of the Ethereum developers received payment from them. A scandal involving Vitalik's purported dumping tactics and fundamental activities has now come to light. Vitalik gave a lucid response to the report on October 26, 2024, a few days ago, saying, I haven't sold a single ETH in the past month. My Ethereum holdings have increased. In answer to additional questions regarding the ETH Foundation's operations, Vitalik went into detail about the substantial costs the Foundation bears, which are essential for the growth and upkeep of the Ethereum network. Are you disposing of waste, or are you not? You appear to be weighing all sides of the debate, Vitalik. Given the significant cost of network management, you're saying that sales are required to maintain the network and pay all related costs. However, you claim that Ethereum is becoming more valuable. According to the article, the Ethereum Foundation is paying engineers and researchers who are in charge of making sure Ethereum doesn't lose 5 billion ETH every year for proof of work. It states that your fees are cheap today and that, rather than taking a minute or half, your transactions are completed in less than 30 seconds. Be respectful. Vitalik is stating that here. I think but Aaron is trying to conceal his behavior because it's obvious that he's leaving Ethereum. I projected that Ethereum would drop out of the top two in 2025. In fact, I think it will fall out of the top five. I think XRP, Solana, and Bitcoin will be the new top three. Of course, only time will tell how this turns out. Pay attention to this. Check out what Vitalik and his team are up to. Charles Hoskins then released this. He claims that while utilizing ADA as the gas fee, Cardano will be able to sign Bitcoin transactions. Pay attention. Bitcoin may now be securely integrated with different ecosystems. The whole hybrid application concept becomes accessible as a result. Bitcoin is worth $1.3 trillion. More than 100 million people utilize it. It is among the world's largest markets. Cardano is the native touchpoint since it is a UTXO system. Connecting and developing these two systems is incredibly easy. What does that mean, then? As ADA is being utilized as a gas token, this suggests that Bitcoin can flow into Cardano and that they will be able to pay transaction costs in Bitcoin when Babel fees are introduced next year. It does look a lot like the XRP ledger. Regardless of whether they are using XRP directly or the stablecoin, people use the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger's original digital asset is called XRP. Consequently, XRP is used if an asset is added to the ledger. The most entertaining aspect is this. Around the year 2019 or 2021, I think, I thought, they're not going to use XRP. All they will do is use the ledger. Using the ledger is illogical. XRP is utilized. That's how easy it is. Folks, that's how easy it is. We can get rid of the smoke. The idea that elite organizations are actively participating in the same top-notch crypto networks is further supported by this. The following are a few well-known financial institutions that use Hyperledger, American Express, Citi, MasterCard, HKMA, the Bank of England, the Bank of France, Visa, Walmart, and the Central Bank of Brazil. Their memberships are considered by the blockchain-based ISO 20022 effort, which makes use of digital assets like XRP and XLM. 
Below are documented examples of this. Hyperledger members American Express and Ripple have partnered with MasterCard and Stellar. Do you recall how American Express and Ripple made their debut in China a few years ago? These partnerships demonstrate how well-known institutions are increasingly utilizing the same crypto networks. Hedera, Stella, and IOTA are just another glaring example of superior digital assets in the same ecosystem. Hedera, Stella, and IOTA may be unfamiliar to you. Recall that IOTA and Ripple were significant participants in the digital asset market in 2017. These organizations are all part of the Hyperledger Foundation. According to the Hyperledger Foundation, this is a noteworthy partnership. This membership suggests that these projects will work together seamlessly in the future. They are positioned to promote integrated, compliant solutions across international networks in addition to being ISO 20022 compliant. These are the resources that will support linked finance in the future. A detailed list of these resources is available here. Solana, Stellar, HBAR, Ethereum, Algorand, and Bitcoin are among the ICPs present. You can find them all here. Don't forget about the Hyperledger member Ripple Labs. We are actively building all the components that are required and connecting them. And you know what? Holding down is all you have to do.